babe. Let's talk about how to read a research paper. A lot of people got up into my comments, but let's actually just dig through the most common issue. Okay, so we're talking again about deep learning based cryptanalysis through topic model. Um, some researchers, some students, you see how it says students there? Uh, in it. When you're working on your master's degree, most of the time when you do some research, you have to reduce the amount of complexity that you're dealing with. This is not a mature full stack expert because that's very costly and difficult to produce. So they talk about the different scenarios of ciphertext attack, the difference between public key and private key cryptography. They talk about how this method would be most useful for public key cryptography, but then they used AES, not just AES, but AES in ECB mode, as in a fixed size data block. Normally, no, that is not what you would use in production. All this paper aims to demonstrate is that AI can break encryption algorithms, which it definitely can. Not all encryption algorithms are demonstrated in this paper because it is like one student and two professors. Other people have followed up on their work and they've actually taken a look at different block ciphers using different encryption methods. The paper is not available, but I reached out to the author. This builds off of earlier work, uh, deep learning based crypt analysis of lightweight block ciphers. Yeah, again, you might say, well, this isn't how the real world works. In the real world, you get to use side channel. The AI is pretty good at using side channel to determine stuff about the algorithm also generalized uh, timing attacks and power usage attacks against crypto stuff uh, using long-range deep learning. Sidechain uh, adversarial attacks being proved to be effective at recovering AES keys. Doesn't completely generalize, but ChatGPT knows how to use these tools, so the high expertise requirements is lower than we might think. Research has been ongoing. There are a lot of people getting in on this type of research since 20, but they are using stuff like this to break crystals cut. But when we're able to use side channel and timing attacks, we're able to combine a lot of information. And when we're able to give more parameters to a machine learning model like side channel stuff, uh, a lot of times they're able to do crazy stuff like break Crystal's Kyber, which was supposed to be the post quantum encryption algorithm. It actually isn't that new, it's kind of been around since like 2022. There's a lot of ongoing. This is what it looks like when you're looking at an area of active research. It doesn't mean that there's necessarily a full exploit chain that's been published. It's not a metasploit mod. It does demonstrate some things are possible that we didn't think were possible. Every few months, another thing comes out that we didn't know was possible related to AI and encryption.